Hey, it's Sarah with House Copper. I'm going to show a quick, really fast uh, way to take dents out of copper refurbishments. I've showed um, how to go about doing it from the inside, um, both heating it and just going in cold. But sometimes you actually have to go in from the outside because it's really close to a seam and it's really impossible to get a hammer in there to do a good job. So you actually work it from the outside to remove a dent that's dented inward. Um, so it's really easy if you have uh, any type of tinner steak um, that fits your piece or worst case like a piece of PVC pipe that is the um, diameter of your you know that fits the radius of your uh, your piece so I happen to have a bottoming steak that works for this particular piece it actually works for almost all decent sized pieces except for really small ones but um, uh, but that's what you can do. So here we go. All right, so along the base of this piece, I have a dent. I'm gonna see if you can see it. Um, uh, it's kind of like, see if you can see it better. Like it's right here. Looks like it was dented in. You might be able to see it better that way. Um, but yeah, so it's kind of right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put it on this bottoming stake. I'm going to make sure that it's lined up along the top. You don't want to be hitting on the side. The tricky thing is, um, if you do it too much on the side, you actually create another dent. Um, and you don't want to really go from the bottom too much. You can try. I'm going to do a little bit. Um, and I'm not heating this because of how it's made. If I do, the bottom's actually going to, the solder's going to pop. It's going to melt and this bottom piece is actually going to fall apart or create a lot of cracks and, and issues in the seam itself so i have to do this cold um, i'm using a hammer that i got from my uncle who was a blacksmith but um, any type of um, um, you know hammer really works you could use rawhide this would take a little longer but with cold i go with a metal hammer so i'm going to go to the base first then i'm going to go straight across. I know it's counterintuitive, but it works. Notice how I'm using really light hammer strokes. I'm not hitting it super hard. Um, and I am shifting a little bit where there might be other dents. All right. Actually, it's pretty much out. So there we be. It's shiny. It's not helping at all. But... Now we have very nice, even face. Ta-da! Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, it works for, for a lot of weird pieces. I'll do another one um, in a little bit, um, pulling uh, issue uh, bumps out of a uh, jello mold, actually. You can do the same thing from hammering on the outside while having something of the same shape on the inside. So there you go.